Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning and welcome. My name is Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard. Um, thanks for uh, joining me in this latest episode. Now, oh, bane of my life these things. You've just seen the first, very different these two ears. Same person, uh, but very different. You can see the second one here, it's extremely narrow. They were both really, really difficult, but for very different reasons. Um, the first one you might have seen, have a guess what you think caused that. You could see it kind of smushed, you could see an indentation in it. Yes, it's the trusty cotton bud or the Q-tip, uh, as you Americans call it. I'm not quite sure why. It's cotton bud. It's bud shaped and it's made out of cotton. It's a cotton bud. Get it right, you lot. Um, I think Q-tip might be a brand, isn't it? But yeah, they're not supposed to be in your ears. I think, I mean, you know, I've, I've shared many videos of me losing my rag a little bit. Um, bit of artistic license in it, it's all, <laughs> none, of it's, none of it's taken too seriously. But it does still drive me mad. How everybody doesn't know not to put cotton buds in your ears. I don't know, I don't, wh wh why do you guys still do it? <laughs> That's a bit of a loss, I really was. Now, this one, I was just in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can see how difficult it is, can't you? And this uh, sheet of skin has actually just jumped into the tube here. I thought, oh great. It might, it might pull that darker section forward with it, uh, if I can grab all of that. But ones like this are really difficult. And the patient was also, as narrow as it was, there was no way I was able to fit um, the, uh, the endoscope and the suction tube in at the same time, unless it had stretched his ear. So what I asked people to do is to grab the ear like that, uh, pull it backwards, stretch it out, opens it out a little bit. It's still narrow, it's still very difficult, don't get me wrong. Because as you can see, the suction tube there, now it's only two millimeters, that suction tube there. It's the, it's the larger of the two. I don't think there's any way the fine end, which is smaller. If I'd have been able to see a little better, it wouldn't have had enough power to get something like this out. Um, but very difficult to fit in. And as you can see, there's, there's, there's not much room either side of the suction tube, so its visibility is, is particularly difficult. So you've got to be extremely careful. You've got to know just where you're putting it and roughly whereabouts you are in the air canal. Um, but I think that bit at the bottom there might be the key to it. If I can grab that and uh, like fold it all together. And a little parcel, a little present. There you go. Did you just see that come together then? I was hoping it would all come out with that, but no, it didn't. But I keep getting a grip there, keep pulling back, but every time I do that, there's resistance. So that tells us that it's stuck a fair bit deeper down. I'm not, I'm not surprised it's stuck either. When you look at the size of this here, how small it is. Again, I've got no problem getting a grip here, but then when I actually try and pull, can you see, just giving it a little tug there, it's just really wedged in there. Probably why, it, why this, this, this chap had, had problems, to be honest. Uh, it, it, was, it was a good age, he was of a good age. Um, so yeah, and it, it was his wife that was forever poking buds in his ears. I obviously told him to stop that. He came with his daughter as well, so I'm hoping his daughter will... Hello if you're watching, by the way, if you managed to find the channel. Um, hopefully she'll uh, remind them. Throw the cotton buds away, stick them in the bin. Check the label, it says, nope, don't put them in your ears. <laughs> so hopefully you won't be doing that again. There we go, just got a little lift on that. Then hopefully we can start finally bringing this thing forward. And as narrow as this was, Kind of the easier of the two, this one. If the other one was really impacted in, really squashed it in with the bud. Whether that had a bud in this one, probably. But I don't think he'd, he'd ever had this done before. Um, and like I said, he, he was good age. So uh, could be a, a, few, a few one or two years worth in here, <laughs> at least. And you can see it's getting darker and darker, can't you? As some of that newer section starts coming away. Again, got a grip, I'm trying to move it side to side. I know it'll seem like, oh, we're not moving much in here. For a start, there isn't really much room to wiggle around there. So you've got to do really, really tiny movements. 
uh, to try and riddle this free. But also what you're waiting for is, is to get that perfect seal. You, you, you want to block the suction tube up. As soon as you block the suction tube up, the power in the machine goes up and then you can start pulling it away. Often compare it to Hoover. Um, now I'm not saying stick any orifice in, in a Hoover at home, um, but you'll notice, say if you get your Hoover attachment, you stick your hand over the top of it, you'll notice that the, the power in the machine goes up, it's working harder. But um, yeah, don't, don't try that at all. Don't go sticking things in Hoovers. <laughs> I have heard some stories about things being stuck in Hoovers <laughs> when I worked in public health. Uh, the things that people used to turn up to uh, accident and emergency with. I never worked in any. Heard some stories about uh, about things like that. I won't go in, in, into any detail. But finally, got a good old grip of that one. You know, still taking a bit of persuading. There you go. It's it's like a shard, you know, and it's left a little bit at the top there, which was a bit tricky to get but nonetheless still managed to get it and uh, yeah have a look there not a bad eardrum at all really good and yeah this one oh is a right pain because you can just see behind where the sucking tube is is there's an indentation it's kind of been smushed around the bottom and it just pushed it right back to if not on the eardrum just in front of it and again, the key to ones like this is to try and grab it from the bottom, which is what we've done there. It already oiled it prior to coming here, so I didn't feel like it needed any more oil. But the problem was it was just stuck because just before, a lot of you regulars, I know you'd be shouting at me saying, yes, we know all this, we know all this. Yeah, there might be some, some people who's watching one of these for the first time, uh, whether it's by accident or not. I don't know what you were searching for that you can find this by accident, I don't know. Um, but it, 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 the, the, air drum, the air canal goes narrower and then it goes wider just before it hits the eardrum. And that's the problem with this one here. Yes, I can get a fairly good grip of it, but then when you try and pull it, it's the, 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 the thing that's in there, it's bigger than the hole it's trying to get it out of. So that's why we do these little movements, try and wiggle it side to side. And sometimes you've just got to make it a little bit smaller. And you've just got to Peel away a little bit of it, and hopefully at some point it gets small enough that you can pull it through that gap. Cause it's it, it's kind of like that, like a like like an hourglass, so to speak. But it is coming. It is coming. And uh, he was very patient. This fellow was really really patient. And uh, it, it just always assumed. Um, it's just gone a bit deaf, like a lot of older people do, you know. I get a lot of older people in and uh, they just think that it's just age-related hearing loss. Sometimes it is. More often than not, they've got something like this in there. And um, they're always very relieved and very happy when we find something like this and get it out and then the hearing's restored. That's why we like doing this job. It's a quick win. Because a lot of people ask me, especially when I left, uh, my job in public health because I was trained to do lots of things, you know. Uh, so well, why, why that thing out of, out of everything that you got trained to do over the years? Wh why years? Why that? It was always one of my favourite, um, one of the favourite parts of my job. Reason being is there's very few um, things in healthcare where you can um, you can have a quick win, you can fix something that's causing that's affecting someone's life quite a lot. A lot of it's like. Um, Take, these, take this tablet three times a day for two weeks, see if you feel any better. Or stick your arm in this cast for six weeks, see if you feel any better. Stick your leg in this bandage for, for, for a year, see if it feels any better. Um, you know, but this is a quick win. People come in with a problem, you fix it, they leave without that problem. And uh, that's why I like doing something like this. It's really rewarding. And a lot less physically demanding than a lot of the jobs I used to do. <laughs> No, but that's another story. Story for another day, that. But have a look at this. And can you just see, just above, you see the bone that's uh, behind the eardrum there? A little bump there. Now again, I think there was another video, either this week or it's coming. I'm not sure what day I'm gonna upload these in. Um, and what is that? Not entirely sure. Sent a picture and a video to um, uh, for the doctor to have a look at. There's a few things. It can be um, called surface ear in the northern hemisphere ear. 
you have exposure to cold water, you can get these bony growths. Not sure you can get some benign uh, bony growths. Um, worth keeping an eye on, that's for sure. Uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything about it, but there's the little plug there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for rattling on. Um, but for now, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.